Well, there are many different names that has been used over the years, uh, you know, with investors making money uh, while they're actually looking for ways to do good. Um, way back in the 1700s, um, you know, all the way to today, uh, many names have been thrown around from social investing, socially responsible investing, venture and philanthropy, uh, environmental, social, and governance, i.e. ESG investing, and uh, compact, sorry, impact investing. Uh, and there are other names such as uh, ethical investing. Uh, there are many of them. Um, however, I actually come to adopt this uh, sustainable investing as a good way to capture actually all of them. Um, this is actually a name that was used by JP Morgan um, just last year. I'm sure that actually there are many financial institutions that have also used this name. Um, it captures basically three uh, terms here as well. So sustainable, sustainable investing is the term used by JP Morgan to describe a variety of different investing practices. Uh, they all geared towards working uh, and making both uh, financial returns and positive impacts on the world. Three of the common investing styles under this umbrella are called ESG integration, um, socially responsible uh, investing, SRI, and impact investing. Uh, ESG integration uses the following three factors. Um, I think all are familiar with environmental, social, and governance. Um, SRI investors take ESG ratings a step further by screening for which companies to keep and cut. So their uh, positive and negative screening, uh, both actually uh, looking at actually companies with ESG ratings um, to make the, the, the investment decision accordingly. Uh, impact investing is even more targeted. Uh, investors invest in companies, organizations, or funds that explicitly are trying to create measurable social or environmental impact alongside financial returns.